हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज संपला कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन द चैनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बाइनरी ट्री अ नॉन लिनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बिफोर मूविंग टू द कंटेंट आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टेक टॉक्स एंड कीप द बेल रिंगिंग नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द वन ऑफ द वेरिएशन ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री इज थ्रेडेड बाइनरी ट्री I have already explained the introduction and the significance of threaded binary tree in my previous video sessions. Now let's see the operations that can be performed on a threaded binary tree. Here we are focusing on fully threaded binary tree in which there are three variations in ordered threaded binary tree, pre-ordered threaded binary tree and the post-ordered threaded binary tree. in which we are focusing only on in order threaded binary tree let's see which operations we can perform on a threaded binary tree so basically the first operation is of the insertion of the elements into a threaded binary tree while inserting the first element you will create a threaded binary tree second operation is nothing but the display or it is also called as traversal of the threaded binary tree and the third operation is nothing but the deletion operation of a threaded binary tree how we can delete the element from a threaded binary tree from which let's focus on the insertion operation of a threaded binary tree so let's start with the insertion operation whenever you are going to perform the insertion operation on a threaded binary tree it is just equivalent to the insertion operation into a binary tree because the threaded binary tree is nothing but the next variation of a binary tree but some things you supposed to take care into the threaded binary tree so here we have to adjust the threads after insertion of each element into the threaded binary tree for better understanding we are considering the binary search tree as a threaded binary tree to perform the insertion operation because here in a binary search tree easily we can take a decision where the new node will get inserted as far as the rules of binary search tree are concerned if you are not knowing the concept of binary search tree for your reference i am providing you a link in a description box for the binary search tree now we have seen that there are three types in ordered threaded binary tree pre ordered threaded binary tree and the post ordered threaded binary tree from which we are focusing on the in order threaded binary tree and while performing insertion operation we supposed to take care of few of the cases so let's see what is the first case the first case is when a new node inserted in a empty threaded binary tree it means that the first node here we are going to insert and this case will help you to create the threaded binary tree now let's consider the second case if a new node which we want to insert that you are going to insert as a left child then what the things we supposed to take care of and the last case is nothing but when you are going to insert a new node as a right child so the first case for the creation of a threaded binary tree if you want to insert a new node as a left child and if you want to insert a new node as a right child so these are the three cases that we are going to consider now from which let's focus on the first case so whenever we want to create a threaded binary tree we suppose to insert a first node first of all before that your tree must be a empty tree so in this case both left and right pointers of a new node will be set to the header and a new node becomes a root node because this is the first node initially when we are going to create a node we are going to initialize that the left pointer and the right pointer to null but as all of you are knowing the threaded binary tree the threaded binary tree is always free of null pointers so that's why that all the null pointers that the left pointer and the right, right pointer both will point to the header node and as this is the first node 
this is going to become a root node in a programming language we will write down like this root equal to new node new nodes left pointer will point to head header on and the new nodes right pointer will point also point to the header node let's see how diagrammatically it will look like so it will look like this then the next thing what we have to take care of after setting the its left and right pointer to the header node we supposed to take care of thread field as well here you can see these are the threads these are not the links so that's why your thread field is going to become a true as the thread field is the boolean type of variable new nodes left thread is also true and the right thread is also true because in the both left field and right field both are holding the address of thread that's why they both are going to become a true now let's consider the second case when we are going to insert a left child so let's insert the left child after inserting a node at its proper position here in this case it's a left child we have to update a thread as we have seen previously whenever we are going to perform the insertion operation on a thread threaded binary tree it is just same as of the insertion operation of a binary tree or a binary search tree only the difference is that we have to manage the threads so when we are going to insert as a left child what type of care we have to take so newly inserted node is a left it nodes left thread points to the in order predecessor because here we are focusing on in order threaded binary tree so that's why we will take care of in order predecessor and the right thread points to the in order successor respectively these things i am going to explain you diagrammatically also so right now just keep in mind that the threads are going to updated the left thread will hold in order predecessor and right thread will hold the in order successor respectively so let's think about the in order predecessor and in order successor which these are so here we are having a threaded binary tree with us and if i want to insert a new node now let's consider this is the new node 15 where it will get inserted by considering the rules of binary search tree it will get inserted as a left child of 18 so here we are focusing on a left child let's consider what the changes we have to do over here so here we are going to insert 15 as a left child so let's we have what we have to do we have to consider that after insertion of 15 as a left child of 18 what will be its in order predecessor and what will be its in order successor so in order predecessor let's traverse the tree in order so what will be the in order traversal 2 12 then 15 and 18 and then the rest of the elements so which one is the in order predecessor it will be 12 from where you will find out the address of 12 that is nothing but the left thread of its parent node that is nothing but 18 and its parent node we are having its address directly so right thread will be a parent node so to update all these things we will write down like this as i explained just now it's left the new nodes left pointer will hold the whatever was the content of a left pointer of a parent node is nothing but the address of 12 and the right pointer will hold the address of parent itself so let's do the things remove the left pointer from the parent node and attach it to the 15 and attach the right pointer of 15 that is new node to its parent and let's form the link between parent and child node so before insertion the left pointer of a parent was a thread but after insertion it will be a link pointing to the new node so that's why here we are going to form a link here we are going to what we are going to update the parents left thread is false because previously it was holding the thread that's why it was true but now as 18 is holding its left child so that's why left thread is going to become false and the parents left is nothing but a new node so in this way 
we are forming a link between the parent node and its child node so in this way we can insert a left child in a threaded binary tree let's forward to the next case is nothing but insertion of a node as a right child let's consider the same tree and what the things we have to take care of while insertion of a right child as i have explained previously after insertion of the node at its proper position that is right in this case we have to update the threads let's think about in order predecessor and in order successor of the newly inserted node let's consider the same binary search tree which we have seen in the previous slide or in the previous example and let's insert 20 as a new node into the threaded binary tree by considering the rules of binary search tree 20 will get inserted as a right child of 18 and now what the things or which threads we have to take care of so whenever a, the parent of a new node is its in order predecessor then what we have to do the node which was in order successor of a parent is now the in order successor of a new node to understand this statement let's traverse the tree in in order so in order traversal will be 2 12 18 then 20 so parent is the in order predecessor of a new node and in order successor is nothing but 25 and the address of 25 is already present in the right pointer of a parent node the in order predecessor is a parent node itself in order successor of a new node is the right field of a parent node so in the same way let's update the thing new node's left pointer is nothing but parent itself and new node's right pointer will hold the right field of a parent hence let's remove the uh, oh sorry let's create the thread to the parent node and let's remove the right thread from a parent node and attach it as a right thread of a newly created node now the next step is to form a link between parent node and a new node or a child node for the same what we have to do the right pointer of a parent was a thread previously but after insertion it will be a link pointing to the new node hence what we have to do we have to update the right thread as a false because previously it was holding the thread to in order successor but currently it is holding the address of the right child so that's why as the right child address is present our thread is going to become false and now we are going to update the link from a right of a parent to the new node so in this way we have inserted or we have created a link from a parent node to its child node hence we have inserted the node in, as a right child now let's focus on the next operation is nothing but the display operation display is nothing but the traversal of the binary tree or a threaded binary tree and let's consider the in order threaded binary tree which we have created previously after insertion of 15 as a left child and 20 as a right child to 18 what we have to do we have to start from a root node after starting from a root node let's check its left thread whether it is having left thread or a left child it is having a left child let's step down to its left child and now we are at 12 For twelve again the same thing left thread or child it's child let's step down to the left child let's think again for two its left thread is pointing to header so we will stop at this position and we will display this two so let's display this two after that its right pointer is holding a thread with the thread go forward and after using the thread we will return back to twelve. as 12 is the next node we supposed to display display it and let's check for its right pointer it is holding the address of its right child step down to the right child let's check for its left child or a left pointer it's address of its left child so step down to the left child 
for this left chain let's check for its pointer left pointer it's a thread so that's why it's turn to display the 15 so that's why display 15 over here let's check for its right pointer it is nothing but the node parent node let's move back to the parent node 18 using thread and display 18 18's right pointer is nothing but the node step down to the node or a right child its left pointer is pointing to the parent node itself so that's why display 20 its right pointer is holding the address of in order successor <coughs> let's move to in order successor using thread it is 25 and display it the right pointer of 25 is its right child step down to right child its left pointer is holding the address of parent ignore it go forward for a right pointer it is holding the thread and it is pointing to the header node so it's time to display 27 and as the right pointer of 27 is header node we have to stop at this position so have you observed the thing while displaying the tree data structure if the threads was not present we have to use the stack data structure with the help of stack only we can return back to the previous level or at the parent level and then and then only we can traverse the binary tree that may be a binary tree that may be the expression tree that may be the binary search tree but here with the threads it was become very easy to traverse the tree in in order traversal as this is in order threaded binary tree we are we have easily traverse the tree in in order so i hope you must have understood all the concepts of a threaded binary tree so thank you friends for listening and watching this video if you like the content and the video please like the video subscribe my channel tech talks and share it with your friends for your reference i am providing you a subscription link over here along with this the whole playlist of a threaded binary tree thank you happy learning happy data structuring thank you friends